What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of How To Subaru. Today's episode we're going to be doing a cheap DIY rear disc conversion on this 98 Forester. So we're going to make the brakes look like that compared to the original drum. But it's a pretty big improvement compared to the stock plus this uh, this Forester had bad wheel bearings in the rear so it's easier just to change out the whole hub because this one was bad and we have from here got this from the junkyard came with the brake caliper I've just disassembled it because I'm gonna paint it red for extra horsepower um, not the cleanest but it'll do the wheel bearings good on it um, I took it off of uh, late 90s um, Outback Legacy so yeah let's get started okay once you have the wheel off and the e-brake uh, down uh, off position you should be able to wiggle the drum off like that and there's the brake shoes and the hub which we will be removing and replacing with the new hub and disc brake drum combo so they do make special tools for taking these off I don't have them use whatever works. Um, let's take these springs off. So here's the the e-brake cable which you just pull this spring back a little should pop out of there. So to get the e-brake cable out, there's two metal tangs you have to bend out on the hub side, and then the cable should just pull through. Just like that. All right. Next step is going to be take this axle nut off before we unbolt anything else so there's plenty of uh, stabilization holding it with the strut and the lower ball joints and stuff. Or not ball joints, but the lower control arm. So we have these two that are on the strut towers, one lower, but before we do that, let's um, pop this clip off. Well, actually, undo this line and then pop this clip off. Clip off. It's a 10 millimeter brake line. Clip off. Just pull out of there. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put the axle nut back on loosely so it doesn't, uh, the whole hub doesn't fall out on me. Now that that's out, go ahead and remove that axle nut. Support the back of the axle. And I 
forgot to remove the, uh, the ABS sensor, so we will do that now. Twelve mil bolt out. Sensor should just wiggle out. Just like that. And there's the whole hub off. You can see that bearing was pretty shot. Okay, now that we're ready to go back on with the new disc drum combo, um, we're gonna start by getting it mounted up, slide the axle in, and throw one of these, or both of these bolts in, just to kind of get it in place. And then we'll worry about the e-brake cable and the uh, um, ABS sensor afterward. One good measure is to mark this um, before you take it off. I have lifetime uh, alignments on this vehicle, so I'm just gonna take it in to get it aligned afterward. We're gonna go ahead and take part of this uh, brake shoe apart so that we can get the cable that's in there out and this one in. So we have a couple springs. I'm gonna take off this lower spring here and this will drop out, which is like the tensioner, and then we'll take off this uh, push and turn spring. You just press them in and turn them till that notch lines up with that pin, hold it from the back, and then that'll get this shoe loose so that we can reach the, um, the bracket for the e-brake cable. Slide the existing e brake cable in through the back. And we're going to try to attach it, which you have to pull back this spring because it hooks onto the cable. So it can be quite a task. So I'll probably fast forward this part because it'll probably take a little bit. Alright, so we have the brake reassembled, um, e-brake line is on, it's all good, so we're just going to put the ABS sensor back in and then all the bolts in the reverse order. So I'm not going to go too far into detail with that since you already saw how they came out. And then we'll torque down the nut, slide the, the shoe disc on, and then start on putting the caliper on. All right, now we can go ahead, we've got all the bolts in, tightened down, except the axle nut. I'll go ahead and slide this on. Just like that. Looks like it's fully seated. And now we can go ahead and put the brake caliper on, bolt that on, get the brake pads in, and we'll run it to this line, put that clip back in. Go ahead and torque the axle nut to 137 foot pounds. Oh, yeah, put the e brake on.
torqued. All right, we got the brake caliper bracket mounted. It's just two, I can't really see, there's two 14 mil bolts go on the back. We're gonna put the brake pads on and then we'll get the caliper in place. Probably bolt it down first and then attach the uh, brake line. All right, we got the brake caliper on, tightened down, pads are in there. Now we just need to hook up this line right through there with that clip that we took out. Um, this bracket here isn't a great fit for that, so I'm just going to zip tie it and should be fine. All right, got the brake line on, led the brakes, zip tied this to the bracket that it used to go to. And that's about it. Now we're ready to put the wheel back on and take it for a test drive. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.